Welcome to this podcast for Brighton School of Business and Management students studying for the BTEC Level 5 courses. For this unit you'll need to satisfy the criteria exactly as laid down in the assignment brief and as described here, but you should also wherever possible use examples from the strategic marketing activity taking place within your own organisation and business sector, as well as showing evidence of having studied the unit topics in depth and breadth by referring where appropriate to relevant models, theories and established best practices. To enhance your understanding of these assignment issues, we strongly advise that you also discuss them with uh, senior managers and senior marketing staff within your own organisation and, if possible, from within your business sector. Section 1 is really all about putting marketing within the context of the wider organisation and being aware that marketing is influenced by and works towards achieving wider organisational goals. You could say that bullet point 1 is looking for your understanding of the theory and bullet point 2 is asking you to consider the practical application of that theory. Bullet point one is asking you very specifically to look at how marketing relates to organisational aims and objectives. So you need to uh, identify specific organisational goals here and show how specific marketing principles and practices can uh, directly influence these uh, organisational goals. And also uh, explain how they might achieve that with some uh, relevant examples if you can find them. You probably don't need to go into too much detail with the examples as you only have uh, 500 words for this question, uh, but enough detail to show that you have identified uh, where marketing and organisational goals are working together. SWOT and PESEL analysis are used as examples in the course notes, but be aware there are lots of other theories around. Uh, for example, if you do a search for uh, Apple marketing principles, uh, you'll find some uh, links there to uh, Apple's three very focused and very simple guiding principles which are uh, well worth having a look at. Bullet point two is your opportunity to show the practical application of marketing principles and practices towards achieving organisational goals, either your own organisation or one that you have identified through your own research. If you are choosing an organisation other than your own to illustrate your answer, uh, you will need to make some assumptions about their organisational goals, so just make sure that you uh, support these uh, assumptions with your own research and, and with empirical evidence. And remember too that the question is asking for an analysis, uh, not just an account of what the organisation is doing. So you do need to make a judgement about whether what the organisation is doing is effective and if you don't think it is being is effective then make some recommendations as to what you think they, uh, they ought to be doing. Section 2 is looking to test your understanding of the marketing mix by asking you to develop marketing proposals for two marketing opportunities. Uh, it would help here, I think, to choose two quite different marketing opportunities to demonstrate your knowledge. So you could choose, for example, one consumer product and one business-to-business -business product or service, or perhaps a high-value product and then a commodity product. Bullet point one, I think, is, is still looking at uh, marketing working to achieve wider organisational goals. Bullet point two is asking you to uh, segment your market and explain in your proposals how you would satisfy the needs of your different target groups. The important thing to remember here is the more clearly you can define your target market, the more specific you can be with your marketing proposals. Keep in mind there are lots of ways to segment your market. Uh, make yourself aware of the current thinking on issues like age segmentation, where a growing number of marketers now are, are saying that really this is perhaps becoming less relevant than it used to be. And also think about the idea that uh, the increasing use of digital marketing now means that identifying customers by uh, buyer behaviour and previous purchase activity is becoming much easier and much more widely used. And finally bullet point three is reminding us again that your marketing mix proposals are not going to work uh, in isolation but that they have to work towards and support other organisational and corporate goals. Section 3 is all about implementation. Note here that you're being asked to recommend and also to justify different implementation strategies. There are a couple of points to keep in mind when answering this question. 
First of all, this whole module is about marketing management, so make sure that you make reference to the management of strategy implementation in your answer. So that could be issues like project management, uh, managing, managing the people who are involved in the delivery of the marketing plan, whether that's employees or external agencies, and also issues like budgetary control. And finally, make sure your answer addresses the question of measuring the effectiveness of your marketing plans and how you would make sure that your strategy is flexible enough to respond to the results of your uh, research and evaluation. If you need any further help or assistance with this assignment, please contact your tutor.